Taurus and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from February 15th to the 21st, 2021. I have to say that I did come on a couple of days ago uh, when I did uh, release uh, Capricorn and Virgo. I had done your reading and when I went to edit it, it was impossible to retrieve the recording. I tried everything. It took me 24 hours and in 24 hours I figured that I had to redo the reading again, but I do have to say that your reading, Taurus, was exceptional and uh, so many beautiful channeled messages and I cannot even, like, <laughs> I, I comprehend what took place, okay, why it did not record in the way that it should have and that's why I'm back again today to do your reading. Um, the, I did a huge trans, uh, transmutation in this reading for all of you here on The Collective and I had to take 24 hours also for myself to release it, whatever it was that was there, uh, some type of releasing had to take place. And I helped you to overcome that as well, because uh, I transmute what's taking place in the reading when I'm doing this. This is uh, the type of healing that I do. Uh, so here again, <laughs> my beautiful Taurus, I'm going to come here and do your reading. Hopefully, let's cross our fingers that your reading is going to take place. <laughs> and I'm not going to have a problem afterwards to uh, upload it. Uh, but it was a beautiful reading uh, at the end. And it was uh, very, um, you know, things are going to start looking out for, for all of you uh, in, in a positive way. And I want to reassure you of that. Uh, so fast, fast, I just want to say that uh, for those of you that have been with me for a very long time and uh, recently here, okay, thank you for being here. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you for the community that I have 27 years of, you know, uh, being present in my life. Uh, it's, it's such a blessing. And for the new subscribers that are here, welcome to my channel. I am a psychic medium. I do channel messages. When you come onto my page, this is what you're going to get is channeled and guided messages from the divine and my, you know, of course, uh, the divine and uh, my angels and uh, archangels are always present in the readings. As you will know this, that there's always going to be orbs around me. Uh, that's because they show up in the readings <laughs> uh, for for confirmation for all of you out there. Uh, now, um, also, my mom is, wants to extend a huge hug to all of you. Okay, and she says that she's still praying for you three times a day uh, and for the collective as well. So if there's any messages that you want to relate to her, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, as well as that, uh, I just want to say that underneath the video, there's two links for those of you that want to purchase uh, crystals under my name. Okay, as well, they're like small family-based businesses. I don't go for the big cooperation, but the smallest businesses, a family orientation. So I usually focus on supporting those uh, these individuals. Uh, for those of you that want to follow me on TikTok, it's Patricia underscore 1111. On Instagram, it's Patricia 1111 as well. For those of you that want to follow me on Facebook, it's Patricia Luna. And, and for those of you that want to join my private group that's growing very quickly, it's a lot of love and support. People are there for each other. Uh, I'm also there interacting if you need me. Uh, it, there is a link if you want to join as well. Um, for those of you that are looking for healers, uh, I do have recommendations, of course, Mark and Corinne, uh, which both a lot of you already have been experiencing and taking healing from them. Uh, there is a link underneath the video of their website. If you need other assistance and whatever they do, you're more than welcome to visit their websites. For those of you that want to write to me, uh, there's a PO box number and uh, donations are always appreciated. Like always, uh, like I said, um, there is a PayPal uh, link and it's I'm in collaboration with someone. And um, so you'll see a picture of me and her. You'll see my name with her name. It's not fraud. It's not a scam. It The, the money does come to me. So again, a huge appreciation. Everything I buy here is with all the beautiful donations so that I could serve you better. So again, a big thank you for that. So now, okay, my beautiful Taurus, let's get started with your reading. All right, I'm so excited to be here. I hope that you're all doing well. So we'll start with your affirmations. Now remember affirmations, um, if you need to repeat them, sometimes you need to repeat them uh, three times and you can repeat it as many times as you want to repeat them, okay, in a, during the day or in a day. And let's get started with your affirmation. This is from February 15th to the 21st, 2021. Okay. 
You got three cards, three affirmations. You got indecision, indecision. And your affirmation is, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. I use my intuition on, in all aspects of life. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. The next one is freedom. And this is what you got uh, in, uh, a couple of days ago. So freedom. And freedom, uh, your, your affirmation is, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And next you got is balance. And balance is, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and do so without judgment. I bring a state of perfect, perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So these are your three affirmations for this week and for as long as you need them. Now let's look at uh, Gaia Oracle. This is for Taurus. One, <clears throat> two, Taurus. And three. Okay. So let me just move my cards here. First card you got is the temptress, seduction, deceit, and a broken promise. This is from a past. Something from your past that you've been dealing with. It could be a pattern. It could be from past lives that you've been going through and it's surfacing now. So there is a releasing of that taking place, okay, of, of what's around you. And it's it's about healing that heart chakra, okay? It's really about healing that heart chakra that's taking place here. And it's also what is crossing it is peace, okay? So you're going to come to peaceful resolutions in this, in this situation. This is dissolving, okay, unwanted or disturbing thoughts that are taking place with you. And uh, what this also came out in your other reading was this, uh, the dove. You see, notice the dove here. This is a peaceful resolution that's going to take place here. And this is about positive news and a positive outcome in the situation. So now we're going to get started with your reading here. Okay. <laughs> so many cards. I don't know where to put them anymore. Okay. Uh, let's take these new cards. These are new cards I received today, and I'm going to use them for your reading, Taurus. So this reading is for Taurus Sun, and anywhere that you have Taurus, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. Uh, just know that, um, what did I want to say? Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at my camera. I'm saying, I hope it's working. <laughs> I just don't want to do another reading and I'm not going to be able to put it for you out there so uh this reading is for Taurus Sun and anywhere that you have Taurus in your chart this is your reading anytime you see this will be the right time if the reading resonates claim it remember it's a general reading but of course I'm channeling the messages so it's not like I'm a channeler <laughs> so uh if it doesn't though look at your rising which is your ascendant sign moon is about emotions Venus is about love and finances Mercury it's about creativity, communication, and uh, also look at your north node as well. The north node will uh, it is a, a, it's a placement where you'll see what is it karmically that you need to release in this lifetime. And so that you could not have to redo it again when you come back again, okay? Now, I'm going to show you where you are, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, what is crowning you, your immediate future, what is hidden from you, uh, the possible outcome, then I will clarify the cards, okay, in which spirit wants me to clarify, and then I will also um, give you two crystal cards, I will give you a sacred geometry card, a, a star seed oracle card, and an archangel Michael card, and at the end of that, I will give you a white light oracle card, and I'll re really, uh, and I will read... <laughs> Oh my God, I will read the passage for you. This Mercury retrograde has 
you know, guard my tongue. Okay, so I think the cards are ready now. And we're going to cut them in three. And let's get started with your reading. Taurus. Let's quit. They wanted me to show you these three cards as the outcome. Okay. Now, <laughs> I follow through. So let me just take a lavender. This is my lavender spray. I'm just going to put some here. Some for you and some for me. Okay. Now, overall energy. Queen of Cups energy. This could be you, my beautiful Taurus. Okay. Very emotional. Like emotionally, you're able to emotionally stable okay it also talks about where you're gonna you're able to express your emotion very nurturing very loving very motherly energy very psychic as well okay uh and contemplating like okay you have this cup in your hand and you say okay this is my cup of love here uh am i ready to give it out to the world or to a person let's see what's going on here um where you're at is the hangman Okay, there's something that's stagnant in your life. It's been a while. It's been stagnant. There's some type of surrendering that needs to take place. It's also part of the dark night, the dark night of the soul and ego and transformations that you are going through right now, Taurus. Okay, where you're in the cocoon stage, you're enlightened. Okay, some of you are waiting or just suspended and just like waiting in a situation. Stagnancy, surrendering needs to take place here. What's crossing you is the ace of wands energy, which is beautiful. And this talks about where there's not only uh, that you are going to have an expansion of uh, of uh, passion in everything that you do, but it's going to start from within you. Your, within you. Okay, uh, what I see here in what Spirit wants you to focus on is the chariot energy, Cancerian energy here. This is about you taking control and moving forward in a positive way. Okay, this could be about buying a new vehicle for some of you. Others of you, this could be about business, okay, position-wise, uh, ambition, ambition, willpower, and knowing where you're going and going for it. In the recent past till now, you got the Neptune card, Neptune, okay, the moon card, Neptune, and Pisces reverse. This is beautiful. You went through this dark passage Okay, uh, a lot of deceptions, illusion, distortion around you, um, not seeing something for what it really is. Sometimes we think that something is bad for us, but then in reality it wasn't. It was just because it's the Neptune energy that causes us to think that way. And when it's reversed, it just means that you released it. You released all of this. Okay, the fears. This is about releasing fears. And the past till now, you've been having a lot of unusual dreams. What's crowning you is the four swords, okay? There's still time out here in a situation, okay? Meaning that you still need time to heal your body, your mind, your spirit, okay? Cutting, it's still about still cutting people or unwanted feelings, patterns, or behaviors, okay? Whatever it is, there's time out here still. In the immediate future, you got the Ace of uh, Swords. This is beautiful, okay? Because this talks about the divine coming in to give you clarity. To give you clarity on everything that you could not see clearly before. It's about the crown being put up where it's supposed to be. Clear communication, a lot of creative ideas, a lot of truth, okay? It's really beautiful energy. What's supporting right now is the Six of Cups. Yes, so there's still nostalgic memories of the past, okay? Where you're still releasing and healing. This is why the Four of Swords is still here, okay? What is being hidden from you is the Scorpio energy, okay? Scorpio could be a Scorpio that you're... Or it's about a death and transformation that's taking place. Death and rebirth and transformation and going with the flow and not resisting. That's why there's going to be time out here for some of you, okay? This could be in the next four days, four weeks, or four months from now. <clears throat> and in the hopes and fears, you got the page of cups. So there is some type of a new emotional experience that's going to be taking place here for you. Uh, an apology could be also as well. 
But all, what I see also is about healing the inner child. Okay, there's a lot of healing of the inner child that's taking place here. The last bits of it. And the outcome, well, the first card that came out for the outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. It's about you standing in your power. <clears throat> Reliable, security, being grounded, being nurturing, being loving, being psychic, your energy. And what they showed me, the other two cards where they wanted me to pull it out for you already, they, this is a possible outcome, is you got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is Jupiter coming in to give you second chances. This is about something that's destined, that's faded, and luck. Luck is with you. And uh, it's coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. Look at this. Okay, a gift, money, something is coming in for you. Some type of stability is coming in for you. And this is amazing for you, Taurus. I'm very happy to see that. Now we're going to clarify the cards. Okay. And I think I'm going to use these cards here. Yeah. So give me a second here. Let me clarify. Let's look at the hangman for Taurus here. Let's look at the hangman. Nine of cups reversed, followed by the three of swords reversed. Three of wands reversed, the world reversed, and the page of cups upright. This is about a new emotional experience that's taking place for you within yourself because of this hangman, right? But what's taking place also is that um, there is something in the past that was, oh, sorry. <laughs> the Three of Swords Reverse talks about where you healed a specific area in your life where you were heartbroken in a situation, okay? And uh, with the Three of Wands Reverse, it also talks about to, to me about where, uh, well, you had a lot of in in interference. Now, it doesn't mean it has to be a third-party situation. It could be someone choosing a, a job or someone choosing their, their family or someone choosing something, something of something here or interference that, that took place, okay? But there's no more waiting in the situation any longer. You're not waiting for anything or anybody here, okay? Uh, there is a wish fulfillment that you truly do want, and there is on un uh, unfinished business still, okay? There is some type of unfinished business. And I'm going to take out an extra card for the world reversed. Why is the world reversed here? One extra card. Here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a delay for the sun to come in, and that, for me, talks about where it's planetary, okay? So a lot of you are just waiting right now for things to shift. You know that something you just coming for you, whether it's money, whether it's uh, finance, money, career, whether it's good health, whether it's a love relationship, whatever it is, you know that there's something coming in. And it is, okay? But something has to be unfinished yet. So there's something that's unfinished. In, in un, You have unfinished business here, whatever that means, okay, for you. And the Sun card talks about victory. It talks about success, positive vibes. talks about revelation, a revolution. It talks about feeling good. It talks about uh, being on the right path, a soulmate, a twin flame. Whatever it is for you, abundance is coming in, okay? It's just a delay. Now, let's look at the Ace of Wands, what's crossing you. You got, again, the Hangman. The Tower reversed. And the Nine of Pentacles. So, this could be mirroring somebody else, okay? Or this is here where it talks again, okay? You got the Hangman twice in a situation here, okay? It's about surrendering. Okay, it's about something that was stagnant. You were waiting for a change to take place because you didn't, you done the work, you done the work, the past life work, you, you done the healing, you done everything. Okay, in which way you had to do it. And there was a tower moment that took place where there was unexpected change, right? And uh, some of you are stagnant in a situation here. Uh, there was some type of codependency with someone, or you're dealing with someone here that's codependent, someone that here is not really, they're just waiting or 
someone here that's that's waiting or codependent and is not doing some type of work here this is what they're showing me so i'm going to take an extra card here on this what is this all about okay that was quick your ground there's a, there's a lot of groundedness in this situation here what is this about is this a okay let's see yeah you see it's someone from the past here this is what they keep showing me there, there is someone from the past here okay and this person here that you're dealing with whoever this person okay that is here that's engraved i feel that there's someone engraved in your heart whoever this person here whatever they are in the same place as you but they're not really working on themselves okay but at the same time i do see that there's no options around them and they're not confused or there's no more confusion in the situation here and uh yes there could be a celebration but it, this was someone definitely from the past that is coming through that there was interference. It doesn't have to be that it was another person involved. It was just interference. And with the five of cups energy, it's showing me that someone's coming full circle right now. You may think that they're codependent. This is what you're probably thinking or some of you are thinking. I'm not saying all of you. Uh, because you are releasing the, the the illusions around it okay it's about someone coming full circle understanding what took place there is some type of closure here or some type of reconciliation with someone here i don't know who this message is for and i got the king and queen of pentacles coming in someone that's very stable with their money they're entrepreneurs okay they're very stable they're very reliable security success practical energy here and there is going to be a new emotional experience coming in for you that's going to bring you, okay, your twin. Some of you have not even, some of you here have not, uh, and I, uh, not met your twin yet. Okay. They've been doing a lot of work. Okay. On and off. But it's been a lot. Of, it's been a progress here. Uh, I do believe that this is the person that's for some of you, not all of you. Okay. But you'll know who I'm talking to. So the chariot comes with the judgment card. This is what spirit wants you to focus on. It's about you taking charge. If it's not happening right now, it could happen in four days from now, four weeks from now, four months from now. I also say I see June also, the month of June of 2021, something taking place here. Yeah, it's about, you know what it is? It's, it's someone that you walked away from or that individual walked away from you, but somebody walked away from somebody here and they're going to recover this situation. Okay, there's a judgment here because this is destined. It's fated to come in. There is someone coming in, whether it's for money or love, with the Knight of Pentacles coming in very slowly, very practically coming your way. Okay, and they usually bring blessings with them. Now, let's look at the moon reversed here in the recent past till now. You got the King of Wands reversed. Someone here that had a lot of fears. They were also not in their element not very passionate about their life or themselves okay not taking action not a lot of messages it was a lot of, i feel like you you weren't communicating with this person at this time okay releasing a lot of releasing taking place and new beginnings taking place at the same time other opportunities came along Let's look at the Four of Swords and what is crowning you right now. You got the Nine of Swords reversed, followed by the Four of Wands. So there is some type of proposal that's coming towards you, Taurus. Okay, this is about a happy event in your home. This is about no more drama in your home. And uh, the Nine of Swords reversed with the Ten of Wands reversed just talks about that something will be completely like completely reformed like trans transformed yes transformed okay where you're not going to be worrying about it uh where there's something that whatever that's been on your shoulder whatever that's been difficult or a lot of obstacles you're not going to go through this any longer okay and 44 the end number 44 is here as well and i do have 11 11 on the ground too there is a proposal that's going to be taking place here there is okay so there is some type of proposal could be work proposal, love proposal, whatever it is for you, okay? Now, let's look at the Ace of Swords in the immediate future. You got the Queen of Wands. You see, I got the King and Queen of Wands reversed. 
And I got the King and Queen of Pentacles upright. Okay. So this is someone, uh, again, the Queen of Wands. It's not about, it's, it's a, you know, let's see. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed? Not someone that's not in their element, someone here that's not in their element at this time. Okay. They're not in their element. They're angry. They could be an angry, they could be angry. Uh, they could be emotional. They're, they're, they're not seeing their worth. There's, there's a lot of things here with the Queen. Look, I got the Queen of Cups reversed, followed by the Page of Pentacles reversed. The apology or something that needed to start is not starting, but you will get the clarity and there will be some sort of communication, but you will get the clarity of why this is taking place right now. Because you, some of you are still going through a huge transformation while the universe is trying to bring you all your blessings. You're still going through that transformation, right? And so with the Ace of Swords energy, yep, you know, you're going to get clarity in the way that you need. Trust me, you will. Now let's look at the Six of Cups in what is supporting you right now. The Two of Cups reversed. This is definitely someone from your past where two people, whatever who it was for you, whatever your situation was, did not come together. The Queen of Pentacles is here and the Star card. So uh, what it is, is that you're, a lot of you are having nostalgic memories of the past, okay? Whatever it is, if it's about your family, a relationship, something that two people did not come together in the way that they should. Because it was a lot of like feeling stuck in your head about a situation, okay? Because at that time you were healing your heart chakra. So you couldn't, you weren't open to unconditional love in this situation. But what they're showing me here in your finances, because some of you have been focusing on your finances to our risk, okay? Well, there's something that you've been dreaming about, maybe becoming famous, maybe about having money, having stability to help other people, especially if it has to do with you being on your mission here. Okay, with the Queen of Pentacles, again, you got it twice. It's about being successful, stable, grounded. The star card, Aquarian energy. This talks about where you wished upon a star and it's coming true. Something that you wished upon is coming true for you. And it's a restoration of faith and hope. Okay, there is a new beginning taking place. The sun is shining on this. You got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Three aces on the ground here. One, 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 44. The number 44. Now let's look at the death card and what is being hidden. So there's a death and rebirth here taking place for you. The Empress reversed. The Five of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. Okay, it's very simple. So what's being hidden from you is you're going to be going through a rebirth again. You thought you went through it. You have gone through it. The Dark Knight of the Soul. You have gone through the distortions, the illusions. Everything that you had to go through. You had the dark passes. You went through it. There's another one coming. All right, or you're already in it right now, okay? Where you're still healing parts of yourself in your worth and who you are with the Empress reversed, okay? Uh, not being in, in that element or something that, that the, you're still working, there's still like something being released from you. Still feeling left out, feeling in the dark, feeling ghosted, feeling abandoned. There's a, still some type of abandoned issue here that's arising, it's resurfacing, you're you're probably feeling it, okay? But through this beautiful transformation, what's going to take place? Yeah, is the Ace of Wands again. You got the card twice, the Ace of Wands. It's about something within you, okay? A passion within yourself, loving yourself, and emanating that in the world, okay? And it's all about passion and everything that you're going to do. So there's something that's very passionate here. Now, let's look at the Page of Cups in the Hopes and Fears. You got the seven of wands, the three of pentacles. Yeah, this card wanted to come out. And the devil reversed. And it's exactly what I saw in your other reading. Just that other cards came out differently, but a lot of the cards came out, okay? What I see here is what I had in your reading. So 
the thing is that you're trying to bring something into balance in your life with whatever you give you receive and this has to do a lot of you with finances and being stable okay wanting to help others as well because that's what you do and the thing is that what's happening here is that a lot of you are still healing that inner child okay which you are doing it it's great okay and some of you will are, are are most all of you i'm not gonna say some of you all of you will succeed if you want to succeed in this okay you are going to overcome the situation okay these obstacles whatever that's coming at you throwing curveballs okay and uh there is a strong foundation here with the three of pentacles i see a strong foundation in a situation or also marriage for some of you for some of you this could be someone from your past yes there could be someone from your past could be okay um others of you there's a new person coming in and what's happening is saturn okay even though right now we're in the aquarius energy we're still in there's a timeline that jumped that took place that we had to go back and so we're, some of, of of the individuals out there the souls out there are still in the saturn energy of capricorn releasing anything karmic so yes you're okay you are. You're hoping this is it. This is what it is. That's why the world is. Uh, it's. Uh, it's. There's unfinished. It's not that it, there's unfinished business. There probably isn't an unfinished business, but for the planets to move, for everything to take place, sometimes we need to wait for things to happen. Okay, it's all in divine timing. Remember. So, while you released, maybe some of you, it's a Capricorn that you have to release toxic energy. Whatever that you released was a lesson here, okay? So whatever you released, you released the fears, the unhealthy situation. There's freedom here. There is freedom from Saturn. And so it's coming in with a lot of gifts, okay? So why is it this like this and like this? It's because there's a process with the planets. It takes time for it to shift. Because what I do see here is stability. I see money. I see passion. passion. I see clarity. I see someone coming in also financially to come and help. I also see love here as well, okay? Now, for the outcome, because you got three beautiful cards already, I'm not going to clarify this, okay, at all, because this is what they gave me. And now we're going to clarify the Queen of Cups energy in the overall. Again, the Ace of Pentacles again, okay? Something stable is coming in maybe for you. Okay, stability, money, a gift, the two of pentacles reversed, feeling grounded, choosing one direction, not being pulled in many directions. And look, the ten of pentacles, unexpected money, stability, you're going to have it all. This is what I, are, I'm being shown here, okay? Actually, I am going to ask for one more card for the Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Look, this is what they gave me again. The Ace of Wands, uh, of Swords. Look at this. Look at all the yellow in your reading. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. You're manifesting this. You have all the elements here to manifest whatever your dream is. You're doing it. And underneath the deck, you got the five of wands reverse. Okay? Drama, fighting, whatever it is, it's being eluded from you completely. Trust your intuition. Because whatever your intuition is, whatever it is that you, whatever your intuition is here, okay? Trust it. You are a high priest or a high priestess. Trust your wisdom. You don't need to go on the outside to get your information. You need to go within. And it's going to be very successful. Whatever this is, this is about recognition, being recognized, being rewarded. This is about being, for some of you, this could be about being famous too, you know? Uh, even though it, it's, 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 or you're meeting someone famous, whatever it is. Very nice energy. I love it. So now let's look into the crystals here for you this is for Taurus it's coming for you yep
Taurus from February 15th to the 21st, 2021. What are the messages here? What are the crystals that they need? One, okay. And what's the next crystal they need? Two. All right, let's check this together. You got clear quartz and rainbow obsidian. Clear quartz is about get crystal clear in what you want. And rainbow obsidian is heal your heart. So there's still healing to take place here because yes, you're still going to take time out. It could take four days, four weeks, four months from now. It's amazing. I love your reading. You can use these crystals for as long as you need them. All right. Now let's look at the sacred geometry for you. Taurus, my hashtag Taurus gang. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me see what they're saying here. You got, oh my God, beautiful. <sighs> Number nine, take hold. Take a, a screenshot of this if you can, my beautiful Taurus. Take a screenshot. Okay, and when you meditate, I want you to look at this card and ask the divine and your guides and your angels to give you clarification about this. But this is the phoenix that's rising above the ashes. That's what's taking place here for you. They're asking you to take hold, okay, because there's change, inevitable change that's taking place, but it's positive here. And you got number 43, and it's meditation. Look at this. Oh, look how beautiful this card is. Meditation. Take another screenshot, please. So that when you meditate, you can ask spirit guides what this means for you. And this talks about connection to higher wisdom. You are going through a connection to the higher wisdom. It's a 43, which is a 7. That's the number of spirit. You got the 9 here. Take hold. Beautiful changes are taking place in your life. Congratulations. So now let's look at the Star Seed Oracle. This is for Taurus. You got 2. In twos, messenger, a message is coming in for you. Sirius energy. So a lot of you maybe are from Sirius, right? Starseed family here. You're my family too if you're from Sirius as well. Um, amongst other starseed uh, that I'm in. Uh, this bringing harmony and balance. It's about bringing harmony and balance. You are going to be receiving a higher... I really feel like some of you are going to connect with someone or not an identity from a higher level, like meaning like it could be Kuan Yin for some of you. For others of you, it could be Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, you know, Jesus, whoever it is. But there is a message that's going to come in very loud and clear for you. And you got the Star Keeper. Star Keeper. Look at look how beautiful this card is. And this talks about cosmic ancestor. Seed the light by staying grounded. You need to stay grounded. Seed the light by staying grounded. And com cosmic ancestors. Now let's look at Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael says to have confidence in yourself, Taurus. And your message is, Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize I am one with all that is divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. And so it is. Now I'm going to take out a card from the White Light Oracle from Alana Far Fairchild. Okay. And I'll read, I will read you a passage. This is for Taurus, my Taurus gang, or my bull gang, or Taurus bull gang. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to take out the book and my glasses so I can read. 
Number 22, you got I Sof Or. I Sof Or, number 22, and I don't think I ever read this one. Okay, so um, give me a second. Thank you for being patient with me. I'll show you the card while I read you the passage. A way through the struggle has already been created for you. And you are being led onto that path. Your authentic, authentic soul path may include recognition and acclaim, noble success and admiration, admin, ad, being admired. <laughs> okay, period. Be grateful, but do not be dazzled or distracted by such experiences. Focus on what connects you to your heart and grounds you in the simplicity of spiritual spiritual truth which is the practice of love kindness and peace this will allow for successful progress in the material world without disturbing the sanctuary of your soul wow what a beautiful message here um let me see if there's something else i need to tell you here Okay, well, there's a prayer, so let's pray together. Um, so, uh, if you, for those of you that want to pray, because I really want to, this is a beautiful card, like you saw here, and I do want to give you this prayer. So, all you need to do is, uh, when you're ready, okay, just uh, repeat after me, okay. Uh, you can place your hand in your on your heart chakra if you want. Uh, some of you could close your eyes or keep your eyes open. And your prayer is, I, I call upon the pure light of wisdom. So, I call upon the pure light of wisdom, compassion, and divine love. I invite the genius of spiritual grace to enter into my heart and with mercy clear the path to the highest loving consciousness i lose i loosen my mental and emotional grip on fixed opinions and open with trust to the higher wisdom and creative path that will set my heart free may all beings know such merciful grace and generous assistance for their greatest good now imagine feel intend or visualize that you are resting in a beautiful field of light for as long as it feels good for you as your personal energy field has been cleared and sheltered through your practice thus far you are now free and able to feel sense or perceive the beautiful light which holds you tenderly in its spiritual embrace. When you are ready, gently guide yourself back to this moment by following the flow of your breath in and out. Hydrate and ground yourself. So I hope that this that you enjoyed the, the healing of uh, the prayer. And uh, now I do want to do what I do want to do. <laughs> what I do want to do. What I want to do is I just take out a few cards from the universe for you. See what the universe wants to tell you, okay? This is for Taurus. I just got these cards today, and I wanted to share them with you. So this is for Taurus. What does the universe want to tell Taurus here? You got... Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Everything that you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Know that I have your back and that I love you, Taurus. Big hugs to all of you. Okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Know that I'm there. And again, I love you. Please take care. This will pass. Amazing things are taking place for you. I'm there for you, okay? I know a lot of you could feel me. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.